Hi there, this is Namni, the welcome to my channel Namni Technical. In our previous video, we saw introduction of what we are going to do in this playlist, right? And coming to this video, we are going to see the packages need to be installed in order to use Material UI components in our React app. So without any delay, let's start. First of all, make sure you already install a React app, okay? I already installed a React app and my React server is already up and running, okay? See, you can see over here and in my browser also. So this is just a brand new React app, okay? So make sure you already install a React. Now open a new tab and just type in MUI.com, okay? And Okay, and now just click on this docs or click on this get started. Both of them will take us to the same page, okay? So this is the documentation of the material UI, okay, where we can find everything about material UI that is uh, what are the components offered by this material UI, how to customize them, how to use them and how to install and what are the packages need to be installed in order to use this material UI in our React app, okay. And for now, we are interested in the installation part, right. So for that, if you look on the left, left hand side, see you can see getting started and here is the installation, right. So if you just click on that it will take us to that particular page okay see now we are on the installation page right and if you just uh, scroll down a little bit uh, see these are the packages we need to install uh, so that we can use material ui components so if you are using npm just use this command and if you are using yarn you can just use this command okay and we have to these are the packages need to be installed okay so what i'll do is i'll just copy this command the second one because as I'm using yarn, okay. So if you are using npm, just copy this command, okay. And uh, so I'll just come over to my command prompt, and what I'll do is I'll just uh, kill my React server, and I'll just paste that, and then click enter, okay. And make sure you have an active internet connection, okay. So let it install. Till that installs, what we'll do is we'll have a look at this documentation, okay. Okay. Now this is the installation part. Now where are all the components provided by this material UI? So in order to look at the components, just uh, same, come over to this sidebar on the left hand side and if you just uh, scroll down a little bit, uh, you will be able to see this right components. So if you just click on that, uh, it will just expand and show all the components which are provided by the material UI. So if you just observe here, autocomplete, button, button group, checkbox. So these are all the component names uh, which are provided by this material UI. Okay. So if you just want to know about a particular component, what you'll use, if you just click on that, it will take us to that particular components page, okay? See, as I clicked on the button, we got to the buttons page and uh, this is the buttons component page where we can know everything about this button. See, uh, if you just scroll down a little bit, uh, see the structure of this components page will go like this actually. First, it will show the output and below that it will show the exact code in order to get that output. What do I mean by exact code? See, if you just write this statement, okay, if you just write this line of code, you will be able to see this button in your React app. So, and if you just write the second line of code, you will be able to see this button and if you just and so on like this. But this is not the total code, okay, this is the exact code for this uh, output but where is the total code that is uh, where are the import statements so if you want the total full source code you can just click on this okay see it is saying that show full source code so once if you click on that it will show total code that is the import statements you can see over here this is the import statement and this is how we can use this in our react app okay and one more thing is what if you want to play with this code you can just uh, click on this okay see you can see over here if you just hover on to that it is saying that edit in code sandbox so if you just click on that what it will do is it will open a code sandbox for us with uh, this code and uh, with all the dependencies installed okay so let me click on that see it is opening a code sandbox for us See the code is same right see the code is same as the code which is shown over here right and this is the output okay so you can just edit over here itself that is uh, you can just customize the buttons and uh, whenever you satisfied uh, 
with the design or uh, with the styles you can then again you can just uh, copy this uh, code into your uh, react uh, local react server that is this will be useful uh, when you don't want to start a local react server okay so this is one thing that is you can just uh, edit uh, here itself and uh, you can just uh, okay start customizing over here itself okay and not only for this button okay for every component it goes in the same way uh, first it will show the output and then it will show the exact code like this and uh, if you just want to full source code just click on that okay let's have a look at other component as well okay see here we have a component called checkbox okay so if you click on that checkbox it will take us to the checkbox component page and if you just scroll down a little bit uh, see the same again first it will show the output and it will show the exact code related to that output and again if you just click on this show full source code it will show the full source code with the import statements and with the component and all okay and uh, same again you can just uh, click on this uh, which, which will open a uh, code sandbox for us okay now let's see uh, whether our packages are installed or not see our packages are installed successfully right now what i'll do is i'll just uh, restart my uh, react server by just uh, typing yarn start if you are using npm just uh, type npm start okay and uh, i already opened my vs code uh, as well so okay uh, it is starting a uh, react server for us okay till that time let us refactor our code okay so this is a brand new react app okay so let us refactor this and one more thing let us check in our package.json actually whether the packages are installed or see these are the these are the three packages which we installed just now right that means our packages are installed successfully okay so now just expand your source folder and just open app.js now what i'll do is i'll just clear everything okay i'll just clear everything i'll just take a h1 and i'll just type in material ui okay and uh, we won't we don't want this uh, import statement anymore so i'll just uh, clear that off and uh, now just press ctrl s save and uh, one more thing is now just uh, go to your app.css and we don't want uh, this uh, css anymore so what i'll do is i'll just clear this and uh, uh, this is the regular stuff so padding zero margin zero in order to clear the margin of uh, the default by provided by the browser so saving of border box now just press ctrl s save see now we are able to see this material ui right uh, which we written in our app js that means our react app is working fine right now let us try to import one of the components uh, of material ui okay okay so what i'll do is i'll just uh, go to this button again okay this is just for testing purpose guys we will again uh, see about each and every component uh, okay in detail in the upcoming videos okay so i'll just expand this okay uh, let's copy this import statement so i'll just copy this import statement and back to our vs code so i'll just uh, copy this now let us use this component okay so b u t t on button and uh, let us say login okay so now just press ctrl s save now we should be able to see a button in our uh, website okay uh, once uh, refresh your okay see now we are able to see this button right and uh, we are also getting a beautiful ripple effect okay so this is uh, totally done by the material ui okay that means our packages are also installed successfully and our react app is also working perfectly fine right that's it for this video guys uh, if you find any kind of value from this video give it a thumbs up do share with your friends and in the next video we'll see how to use the material ui icons in our react app okay and uh, stay tuned for the video and do subscribe for other updates thanks for watching guys